You may be seated, and we're going to get started real quick, but I want to go through orientation, theory, practical. Denea, uh, come for just a moment, my sister. Denea, you came up as a volunteer. I want to get all of us engaged for a moment. We're going to begin to talk about this breach. I want you to understand orientation, breach in power, just for a moment. We're talking here that if we look at E equal MC square, we understand, most of us have seen this algebraic symbol that birthed much of this new quantum technology as our computers and so forth that we're dealing with, but we haven't thought about it in the realm to how it works in the kingdom of God. But this basic equation says that mass, uh, protons, neutrons, and electrons, it doesn't matter, we aren't gonna go into that. But mass, stuff that are particles of reality, stuff in essence, everything is made up, protons, neutrons, and electrons, stuff that we can see, that mass times the speed of light, 186,282 miles per second squared itself, becomes a speed that now would convert this material stuff to invisible. In other words, it would become nowhere to be seen but pure, pure energy, pure, pure, P-U-R-E, pure energy, pure energy. Mass converts to pure energy and pure energy converts to mass. But what I want us to begin to understand is when we talk this area of pure, pure energy that every stuff that is out here is birthed out of pure, pure, pure energy, we're talking it's free of contamination. I want you to hear that word. When I say pure, I want you to say no contaminants, perfectly pure of contamination. In other words, you're saying that it is holy. So when something is pure, holy, free of contamination, you've just really defined God. God is pure. There is nothing pure, free of contamination. You have just created the definition of the singularity principle, God. And the Word of God tells us in Romans 1.20, the things that are seen were created from things that are not seen. The invisible things of God can clearly be seen by things that are made. The invisible things of God can clearly be seen by the mass. It begins to reinforce the stuff here. Uh, we can go on in Hebrews 11.1. 1. The faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the invisible, the worlds were framed, the invisible creates the physical. Are y'all there with me? We're gonna to begin to build a case for you that it's not out there, it's in here. It's being redeemed back to believing that if you can have it here, you can have it there. If you can have it on the inside, the manifestation of the outside will come. So that everything that I see that is physical was first birthed out of someone having it as a dream on the inside that produced it on the outside. Are y'all there? The very simplistic, that most of us don't get it on the outside because we haven't first understood we must have it on the inside. In other words, take this now. Tommy, nope, you took it in the past. I want you to get this now. Pray, everybody pay attention. Whoop, whoop, put your head, no writing. I want y'all to get the idea first. Take this now. Nope, you, you've been, you saw that before. So you had already taken it where? So when I said take it now, where is now? Where is, where is now? Geographic. So you took it on the inside. Before it was manifest on the outside. So now is on the, the inside. And God is a God of when? Now. On so the inside when God blesses you, he blesses you when? Now. On the inside. Now take it in the past. Take it in the past. Now. So in other words, there are two births that you must first birth it on the, the inside. Then you must take it on the outside. And so it, you must manifest. So take it now in the past. Take it in the past. You don't have it. Why don't you have it? Because I'm not putting harder 
Yes, yes. So the kingdom suffered violence, and the violent must do what? You don't have it yet, Tom. You don't have it. You don't have it. Yeah, but, but you, you, I hear you, but you don't have it yet. <laughs> All right. How many begin to get the idea? Thank you. Tommy, you're a good student. You learned, you heard that once. You've been living by it. I, I tell you, you took it. How many begin to understand what just happened? Not only did she have it on the, but unless it was going to be reality on the outside, she need to what? Take it by. And the area that we have had problems in the church is we teach to have it on the but we haven't been preparing people to take it on the... And so this is the bridge that we're going to be dealing with. What's keeping me from having on the... What God has already declared as so on the... Are y'all there with me? But you understand the journey. Tell me what I just said, Kimberly. Because we don't want to be in a hurry. Stand to your feet. Tell us, teach what I've just said. You said because we already have it on the inside, God placed No, I didn't say you already have it, but where must I have it? On the inside. So, Kichi, Kichi, Kimberly, go get it. Well, in my mind, I already went. But, but, but no, go get it. I have to go but take where are you it. going? I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't. See, so you don't have it on the inside because you don't know what Kichi, Kichi is. Right. So, you can't go, you can't get what you can't first. See. On the inside. So how can you do on the inside? How can you do on the inside. outside? Or how can I do on the outside what well, I don't see inside? So this first journey of understanding birthing this kingdom is that I have to have it on the inside before I can have it on the outside. And we're always trying to get it on the outside without first having it on the inside. Are you there? Yes. But Kichi Kichi is like Kachi Kachi. Go get it. I already got it. No, you don't. I do. What is Kachi Kachi? What's on the inside? Well, what is what is what's on the what is Kichi Kichi then? What's on the outside? No, 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 no. I've given you something to do. I've given you a task to do. I've spoken a word of logos, but you can't see the rhema. Therefore, you're making assumptions of what it's to do, and this is where we are at the church. We keep trying to assume what God has said, and we don't know what he's saying. So you've got to be disciplined in understanding what Kichi Kichi means, yes? Yes. Because you can't do unless you can understand. see. So therefore, the scripture tells us in Matthew 7 that we must ask. So what do you need to do? Ask, seek, and not. Ask. So you have to have a mind like a child. Be willing to humble yourself and say, I don't know what. Kichi, kichi. Yeah, look at you. Get comfy. <laughs> you got it, girl. No, that's why I'm here. Thank yeah. You. So what do you want? So what's your question? You have not because you asked not. Ask not. Yes. Is it? What did I do? Where did I go? Okay, no. So what's your question? I just said, kichi, kichi, go get it. What, what's your question? What is kichi, kichi? Good. It's not hard, is it? <laughs> How many understand this is what God is seeking us, to humble ourselves, to be empty so that he can fill us? Now, this is the beginning journey of birthing your vision is to say, I don't know. Amen. And most of us are so filled with pride, we don't want to say, I don't. I've I don't been know. in church for 30 years, and I said, I don't know, I don't know what it means. <laughs> but until I can know what it means on the inside, I won't be able to manifest it on, on the, the outside. So we've got to make it plain what and it I is. I won't be able to take it by phone. There you go. And Jesus taught in parables that people could see on the inside so that they could manifest it on the outside. Now, isn't that so simple? So we haven't been doing what the kingdom promises because we clearly haven't been able to see. Now, Kichi Kichi is, come on up, I'll tell you. Okay, what, what color is Kichi Kichi? Yellow. Good, where would you go get Kachi Kachi? Where would you begin to go look for it? Grocery store. Good for you. Now you know how to begin your journey, don't you? Oh. <laughs> and you have not because you what? Ask now. How many begin to understand this journey? Would you tell them what Kichi Kichi is? Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't go look for it in a hardware store. No. So you would have a distinct 
planned for activity, yes? Yes. All right. Now, if we, you can be seated. So we have begun to recognize that it begins with humbling ourselves to say, I just don't know, to teach me, Lord, to be open to the Holy Spirit, to reveal that which I cannot see.